everyone that makes it to the UFC is obviously a pretty tough SOB. To continue and getting those other bigger fights and those other bigger paydays and those other bigger contracts, you got to get the, those big skins on your wall. And I think Kabalov qualifies. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Rustam is uh, one of my toughest opponents. Uh, he's a very good fighter, former world Sambo combat champion, and he's uh, he's beat some big names. I believe his record in the UFC is six and two overall. He's yeah. uh, twenty wins and only three losses. So, definitely a, a tough opponent, and uh, I'm looking forward to fighting him on December 10th. Jason, 2016 so far, in my opinion, has been a great year for you. When you sat down at the beginning of the mm-hmm. year and you put out all your goals, how close are you to achieving all that for this year? That's a good question, exactly. When I sat down at the beginning of the year, I said I wanted to go 3-0 and this year, so I'm almost there. I won uh, two of my fights this year, and now we're going for that third win, and uh, it's going to happen December 10th. When you're doing your research on your opponent and you look at the Martins fight, the Henderson fight, was there one thing that you can point that happened in both matchups, maybe a, a flaw that you feel like they were able to expose? I think Henderson was very good at uh, pushing the pace. You know, I think uh, Rust M, he's very good at clinches and body locks, and uh, especially when he gets a solid body lock to go for the suplex. But the suplex is also a very energy-intensive move, you know. So if he doesn't finish you on the suplex, I feel he kind of tires him out a little bit. So I'm just planning on if we get into those situations where uh, we're caught in a clinch situation to to, to scramble, to move, to keep moving, keep pressing forward and and kind of put the the pressure on him and to come out on top on those scrambles. So the finishing rate, I've always always told you that. Big fan of finishers. Uh, Your last one wasn't a finish, but at least you got the work in, right? I guess the 15 minutes is valuable sometimes too. Yeah, it was good to get that ring time in because I still think, I think off of my wins, I've 85% of my wins are still finishes. So when I win the fight, I tend to, to, to have a finish. So I, I like to go for the finish in all my fight in all my fights. But getting into the, the higher level, especially fighting a guy like uh, Silva, who I don't think has been finished in his last uh, 15 fights, uh, he was very good. You know, he was very well-rounded, black belt jiu-jitsu, excellent stand-up fighter. So he was he was tough to finish. And I expect that uh, Rustam will, will also be a tough guy to finish, but I'm going to do everything I can 